Hi, my name is John Stevenson, and welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guy Show. Today, we're going to be talking about the best index annuities on the market right now. So what are the best index annuities? Okay, what are the best participation rates? What are the best caps? Where are the highest caps offered? Where can I get the most growth in my annuity contract or an index annuity? Well, guess what? In this video, we're gonna be talking about where you should be looking. And I'm going to be showing you all of the top options right now. And of course, if you want to look at top options right now, like this second, I'm obviously as of this recording, things will be different. But in a, you know three or four months from now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, what are they right now? Well, book a call with me. There is a link below this video. It goes straight to my calendar and we will talk. And if you're looking for an annuity that gives you a ton of growth, make sure that you don't have any risk due to market fluctuations, then I'm going to show you everything that's available. But let's look at what's available right now, at least as of this recording. All right. So on my computer, I am showing a 60 year old who has $250,000 and I'm just going to change this. Let's say $300,000, just get some whole numbers here. Um, and then I'm going to say, you know what? It's in an IRA. I mean, I could put a non-qualified IRA. There's so many different options I can look at, but let's say it's in an IRA and they are in Ohio. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to go over here and just say, all right, well, I know for a fact, just because I sell annuities all day long, I know for a fact that Allianz has some decent annuities that have decent growth, just because I have clients who are in Allianz right now and they are getting decent growth and they are locking in growth throughout the year, um, which is pretty nice. Not all annuities allow you to do that. Uh, and, then, and then I'll show you everything else that's available. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And then I'm gonna look at just the 360 here, just because I know that one has had some decent growth and let's take a look at it. Okay, now, we're looking at some growth rates here. They're giving you a 3.78, 3.30. Now you may not think, oh, that's not very much, right? But then look at this. You got a five year that's paying you 8.2. You got a two year that's paying you 5.65. You got a fixed account that's paying you 2.10. Okay, so these are all the different allocations just in this one. But you know what? I personally like an S&P that will give me a higher cap, right? So it would be nice to have something that's a little bit you know, a little bit higher than that. So let's let's go back here. Um, let's see if we can we can find something else here. Let's see here. There's a lot of companies. Mass Mutual is known for keeping uh, for keeping their their rates pretty high. Let's see here. All right. So we got the Barclays here. Let's see. You got the S and P. I like that. Now here's here's something that's interesting. You notice here there's a one-year S&P 500 with a seven-year lock. Well, what does that mean? That means that they will not and they cannot contractually lower that cap. Okay, so they have to keep that cap at 8% during those seven years. And seven years happens to be the surrender charge period. After that, you can take your money out. The thing that's nice about this is if the market takes a dive, you know, one or two years during that contract, you're not going to lose a dime. Now, if the market goes up, they're gonna give you everything up to that cap, okay? So that's pretty cut and dry. And the reason why I like cut and dry indexes is because I see a lot of fancy indexes that are being created, even in the last couple of years where annuity carriers were, will back test them and the returns look phenomenal. And, and then they'll base it off of current participation rates, which if they're at 500%, shows a 50% return every year. It's ridiculous. And unfortunately, there's a lot of agents out there who sell annuities who want the commissions and they will illustrate this to really make you feel good about buying an annuity from them. And I'm I'm sorry to say, but that of course is not in your best interest. It's more in the, in the best interest of the agent. Okay, now as a guaranteed retirement guy, I show everything. I don't care what the commission is to me. Yeah, I get paid a commission, but I'd rather show you something that pays me less commission and gives you a better return than vice versa because word gets around, okay? It's a small world and you wanna make sure you take care of people or it really comes back to bite you. All right, so let's look at this. We've got a one year S&P 500 seven year lock. And you notice I have 100% of my funds in that. But if I wanna spread it out, I can. Um, we have the lock. Let's see if there's any other ones I like. Well, you got the real estate one, you got gold. That's kind of nice, you can spread it out among those. And the fixed account is paying 3.9, okay. But you know what, I'm gonna keep it where it is. I do like the seven year lock. 
And so let's see, go to the next step here. Let's see what this looks like. Now I could, I certainly could put an income rider on here. If I want guaranteed income for life, I absolutely can do that. And if you want highest guaranteed income, no matter what, the rest of your life and for your spouse's life, book a call and I'll show you all the top options. Okay, there's a link below this video and, and, and we'll chat. Okay, we'll get on the Zoom call and I'll show you everything. But for this illustration, I'm not gonna put an income rider on here, okay? I'm just gonna say no fees. I just wanna see what this thing, what this thing does. All right, $300,000 and I'm getting, I'm looking at guaranteed versus hypothetical. Guaranteed is, well, if the market does nothing, S&P does nothing for the next seven years, well, I'm not gonna earn anything, but I won't lose anything either. Or if, you know, if the market tanks for the next seven years, I'm not gonna lose anything. So my $300,000, as you can see, stays where it is. Here's what's nice about this. You notice that the death benefit here on the very right actually goes up. So if you leave the money in there and you still don't make anything, they're still going to, to give the opportunity to leave a, an inheritance uh, to your beneficiaries. That's nice. Uh, and also the surrender value is guaranteed to go up. So what I like about this is, is no matter what happens over time, if the index still produces nothing, you have guarantees that your surrender value your death benefit will go up. So you will have some sort of growth, which is nice. I mean, it's not great that, I mean, if I don't get any growth, my account's only worth 352,000 after 10 years, but it's, you know, if I have down, you know, if we have a terrible decade, that's still nice to have that. But let's look at actually what it probably will return and what it has returned, okay? You'll notice that, well, the market's done well in the last 10 years. And so if it continues to do what it's been doing, or at least get up to that 8%, then you can see, there are years where it makes eight. You know, there are years, of course, those years that it's making 8%, it's usually making more than that, right? But again, they're capping, they're capping our gains. And in return for the down years, we're not gonna participate in any of the losses. So if I look at that, over the same 10 year period, my 300 grand has grown to 476,000. Well, that's a whole lot better, isn't it? Uh, my death benefit though is even higher, it's 514,000. So this is the most likely scenario. And I would be very comfortable recommending this to you. If you want just a straightforward approach to, hey, I want a fixed index annuity that's gonna give me as much of the stock market return as I can get and also protect me against any uh, downward um, you know, pushes with the market might, you know, it might drop, it might crash at some point during the next seven years. And I wanna protect myself against that. Okay, if that's what you're looking for, this is a great product for that. So let me go back to my calculator and I'm just going to look at everything. I just kinda wanna show you because this video is all about top indexed annuities. So let me show you other options that are available. If you're willing to not be locked in for seven years for a cap and potentially have that cap raised or lowered, if that's the downside, depending on the cost of the options that, that the annuity company has to purchase, um, that, that is a very real fluctuation that could happen for you. So let's go in here and say, all right, well, we want to look at, I just wanna look at all of them, okay? Let's just look at all the indexed. All right, now you can see these are all the top index. Now, returns are pretty decent, right? 21%, 53%, see what I said before? Yeah, I can illustrate this to you and say, oh man, you gotta buy this, you're gonna make all this money. Eh, you might, but most likely you won't because look at the participation rate. It's 550%. And then look down here, you've got 550, 350, 350, and then they're charging you an account fee. So I just got off the phone with a guy today and he was in a great index, okay? It was earning, well, it was supposed to be earning him all this money and he was paying all these fees to get a booster. Problem is, those are fancy indexes that he never heard of, and they basically returned nothing. So he lost, lost like 4% of his account value because of fees. So you do not want to be locked into something with fees, especially if you're going to um, have no, no market gains. So if I was you, let's take a look at, let me just go down here. I'm gonna look at, um, in, in let's let's look at a, at a, at a 500, okay? We wanna, we wanna only look at the S&P 500. And if I look at that, I say, all right, well, I only want S&P 500. Now you can see the returns normalize so much better. Yeah, we're looking like nine to 10%. That's a lot better. Okay, so if you're looking for an annuity and you want growth, choose an index that you understand. You can definitely choose indexes that are fancy, absolutely can deliver great returns. But what I would recommend, at least what I've seen in the past, is people that do well in index annuities, they are the ones that will choose indexes that we all know, okay? If it's an S&P 500 or Russell 2000 or Barclays, things like, like that have been around for a while, put that in your portfolio. And if you do that, 
I think you're going to be much happier than someone who chooses an index that is really fancy, they never heard of, has great back testing, but uh, really has no record, okay? Anyways, that's my recommendation. If you wanna chat more, book a call. There's a link below this video, go straight to my calendar. I'm not gonna try to sell anything. I'll show you everything though that is available to you. And it will not matter to me what my commissions are. I'd rather share with you everything that's available according to what you're looking for. And of course, if there's something that we find that it works best for your situation, I'd love to sell it for you. So anyways, I hope that helps. If you like, please click the like button and share and comment. I'd love to answer any of your questions that you might have, okay? So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.